Hello, this is Jason, and I uh, thought I'd uh, do a tutorial for you tonight uh, using uh, uh, Channel Sense with uh, Reaper. Um, you can use it for different things, uh, uh, FX uh, buses, or even uh, uh, multi timbral instruments such as UVI's Falcon. So uh, we'll dive right in here. Um, and first I'll kind of talk about using sends for uh, effects buses. So in this example here, uh, make sure we are actually, you're going to be able to hear it, okay? You'll be able to hear it. And this is kind of what we're going to be, well, I'll show you how to set up here. Nothing too fancy, just demonstration purposes. So, first thing we'll do is create the actual instrument. In this case, we're using phase plant. Just saw with three unison. Quiet it down a little bit here. Let's go over. Copy the notation. As you can see, nothing too fancy at all. So, we're going to create um, two new tracks. Call this FX1 and FX2. We'll make those children. And one of the things uh, we should talk about too is in project settings, you'll need to make sure allow feedback and routing is enabled otherwise this won't work now the reason it's disabled by default is uh, as you can see loud noises because of the feedback if you're not doing things properly so anyway um, we have that set up what we're going to need to do at this point is we're going to need to route things to the effects buses essentially from the main instrument. So we'll do that. And what I usually like doing is having its own uh, channel pairing, uh, if you will. So we're going to create channels three and four, and that goes to channels one and two on effects bus one. Six going to effects bus two, and so in the interest of expediency, I am just going to copy the effect, apply that, apply that uh, here. this point let's see what we get do file check on routing all right so that's parent track which in the next example we will be changing that parent track all right now let's take a listen <laughs> Okay, you'll notice nothing is there. What's going on here? So what we need to do is let's go back and we're going to want to take a look at here. And what you'll see is that it's only going to channels 1 and 2 by default. So what we do is we pin these out as appropriate. Now... <laughs> So there you have it. 
nothing nothing too fancy in this example, but uh, I think it illustrates the concept pretty well uh, for using uh, child tracks, subordinate tracks, whatever you want to call it, uh, for the purposes of effects buses. So we'll just, <clears throat> excuse me, go ahead and we'll delete that for the next uh, thing here. And that is using uh, child tracks for multi-timbral instruments. So <clears throat> in this case, we're just going to be uh, kind of using UVI Falcon more specifically the drum designer sound bank and one of the things you'll notice too with some of these that support multiple outs um, <clears throat> by right out of the instrument uh, is they'll ask if you want to do the automatic routing for the purpose of this I'll select no so what we're going to want is we're going to want to kick We're going to want our symbol, and we're going to want a clap. So, as is, you can hear the audio. Uh, turn that down a little bit. Now, however, what we're going to want is we're going to want individual tracks that we feed in so we're basically sending MIDI from the individual tracks to the one instrument um, so we'll create three tracks again like last time we're gonna make them child tracks of the parent so we'll just call this drums this will be for the kick this will be for the hat clap. Now going back into Falcon, uh, we're going to see a couple of things here. Um, the A1, A2, and A3, these are basically the main channel. So main channel 1, main channel 2, main channel 3, and then the main out. So what we're going to want to do in this case is change that main out to out 2 for the kick, out 3 for the cymbal, and out for for the clap. Now, one of the things is won't be able to hear anything basically like last time because we specify the channels, but they're not going anywhere. Make sure to add the channels. In this case, as you can see, it automatically adds the appropriate routing, so we don't have to do that. But again, we could do all sorts of custom stuff. But for what we're doing right now, this is good. So now, because we're going to be dealing with MIDI here, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to um, uh, disable the parent send track. We're also going to want to do some other things as well. to add some of the meat, which will be important. All right. So now, again, we're not hearing anything. And because what we're going to want to do We're also going to want to disable the MIDI as well. At 
released uh, as the send from the main drum instrument. Okay. So now what should happen if we did everything right? We have sound. Now, uh, again, I was talking about earlier, these are the different MIDI channels, one through three. And since we're gonna be putting the different tracks here, let me just go copy these. Now, in, in terms of uh, sending it, what we're going to do here is we're going to look back to the send here. So obviously, we're sending the audio. What we're what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to send, in my case, just for simplicity's sake, everything MIDI from this channel to channel one back on the master here. and channel 3. Now, what should happen, we get the kick, and let's change this real quick here. So now, if we didn't have the individual MIDI channels, basically everything would get triggered at once and that would defeat the purpose. But as you can see by default, when you add parts in Falcon, uh, it gets its own MIDI channel. So we're good there. So now, since these are all feeding different channels, And then, of course, we can apply individual effects just like usual. There you have it, you have a multi timbral instrument being fed uh, with individual notation from each of the child channels, and uh, you have your drums in this case. Obviously, for those who aren't aware with, you know, don't have any experience with Falcon, you could also add other patches and stuff like that for other uh, instrumentation. I just use drums in this case, but um, yeah. I think that should explain the concept uh, relatively decently of what you can do with uh, channel sends. And uh, <clears throat> if you have any questions, comments, uh, please leave them in the comments below. And uh, hope the video was enjoyable and, uh, and was of use.